Welcome back. Now that you can hear me, uh, unmute my mic so you can actually listen to me if you want to. Uh, it's been an active afternoon. It's been a very busy afternoon. Still kind of is. 53, 44, and 46 in your first forecast. We'll continue the chance of showers as we go through the nighttime hours, but the severe weather threat is going to continue to move east and should lessen as we go through the rest of the night. Here's a broad look at things on Viper radar as we have seen uh, not just severe weather, but some very heavy rains in the northern part of the state. What's ongoing right now is we've got some pretty good storms moving into the Aurora area right now. We do not have any severe thunderstorm warnings in effect as of right now, which is certainly welcome, but we need to watch these storms in the eastern part of our coverage area, just east of the Tri-Cities. These would be the storms that would be of most concern. And then up to the north, we continue to see uh, what is some fairly heavy rain that is falling. And you know, we have a new flood advisory that was just kicked out. Uh, maybe it was a severe thunderstorm warning. We'll get to this here in just a second. We're going to put that over there. Uh, again, up here to the north, we've had reports of street flooding, basement floodings uh, there in Custer County. This has been torrential rainfall. At one point, Broken Bow had over four inches of rain. That was a good hour ago. Here's our tornado watch. It's been canceled out west. It's been extended a little further to the east uh, to go right there along Highway 81 as these storms continue to move east. And I've been saying it today that this is not your classic setup for long lived tornadoes, but it's these brief, quick uh, spin ups. We had uh, what appears to be tornadoes around Bertrand and Overton, Hildreth, Upland, uh, and even there just west of Donovan. Looked like a picture of a, a rope tornado that had developed. And then there's the flooding side of things. We have a flash flood warning until 9 p.m. for Custer County, and we have numerous flood advisories. You know, we're talking Garfield, Blaine, Loop, Custer, Holt, uh, Brown, Rock Counties. These are going to run until about 745 and 945. All that rain up north, uh, some flooding concerns very much in play. And we're going to continue to see that rainfall. But the storms should move east. And again, the severe weather threat will move east as we go through the rest of the night. But we'll continue with the chance of rain up to the northwest and even some showers during the day tomorrow. But the big concern tomorrow, it's going to be the winds. Coming in out of the northwest, we could be talking wind gusts of 50 to nearly 60 miles per hour. High wind warning will be in effect tomorrow through the day uh, from roughly Highway 281 westward. And yes, I will point it out. That is a winter weather advisory out in the panhandle. Yeah, it's, it's one of those fall or spring days in Nebraska. We have winter weather advisories out west. We got tornado warnings in the east. Seems to happen about once or twice a year. It's only 42 in Shadron right now. 62 in Hastings on the other side of this cold front. We're cooling down quickly. Tomorrow's not going to be overly pleasant. Tri-City forecast, 41. Storms exit, but here comes the wind. It'll pick up tonight. And by the time you head out the door tomorrow, tomorrow morning, it'll be very much ongoing. Only a high of 47 tomorrow. 39 tomorrow night and going to stay kind of windy there too. Looking at 38 in North Platte, 40 in Kearney, 46 in York tonight. Highs tomorrow only in the 40s and with that wind it will feel even colder. Weekend looks chilly. Low 50s, 58 Monday. We do rebound next week back into the 60s. As far as the eclipse goes on Saturday, there is some concern that we could be dealing with quite a bit of leftover cloud cover. So that's something we'll watch too.